After President Mubarak's ouster from government last year, a new television series is revolutionizing the comedic landscape in Egypt. Amin Abahid talks to the man behind the show. And I didn't actually fantasize about being with uh, in a show interviewed by Barbara Walters or The View. I actually, my biggest fantasy is being interviewed by Jon Stewart in his own show. Basim Yusuf's fantasy may not have become a reality yet, but to most Egyptians, he's even cooler than Jon Stewart. Yusuf is Egypt's greatest YouTube sensation. His hit TV show, El Bernameg, inspired by The Daily Show, has raked in over 9 million hits in just six months. A cardiothoracic surgeon by trade, Bassem was out on the streets of Tahrir Square attending to wounded protesters. But since the January 2011 revolution, Bassem has begun to heal the country in a new way often at the expense of the people in power. America, Israel, and Nizam Al-Bernameg, or The Show, is bringing political satire to television audiences, something Hosni Mubarak's regime wouldn't allow. If anybody like uh, nine months ago told me you're going to be in this position, I wouldn't believe it. Now it's better. At the, you, first, you, uh, during the Mubarak you had a, a freedom margin. Now you have a freedom ceiling. It's better. At least now it's a freedom, not a margin. As that freedom ceiling rises, more artists and musicians are mixing politics with culture. But Bassem Yusuf is the only one stirring the political pot with comedy on television and reaching vast audiences online. <laughs> Oh, he is really amazing. Egyptian-American professor Nazar al-Sayyad says he's never seen anything like al burnamek in Egypt before. This is very new to Egyptians. The fact that someone would take material uh, and be critical of it in this uh, sarcastic fashion um, on television uh, must be opening quite a lot of eyes in Egypt that have not been opened before. Starting out on his set he built in his Cairo apartment for just $100, Bassam's show is now broadcasting from Egypt's version of Universal Studios. Four, three, two, one, yall, yall it's once a week. Once a Sometimes week. we shoot uh, every two weeks if we have a lot of material, but uh, the most exhausting part is not the shooting, it's the writing, it's the research. Bassam's crew includes not just top-tier researchers, but also guest correspondents, like Khaled Mansour, a human rights lawyer turned stand-up comedian who values Bassam's technique. It, like using a sense of humor and making, trying to make people laugh, but the, the, the whole point is, uh, is about politics in Egypt, the new Egypt, you know. Egyptian television absolutely has experienced a, a tremendous renaissance as a result of the revolution. So I think people like him have a golden opportunity right now, which um, may not be sustained in the future. And Bassem Yusuf is taking advantage of this new openness by going after what he considers the outrageous nature of Egyptian state media. But, he says, there are still some taboos. Religion, sex, you can't really talk freely about that. And even polit politically, we're not completely 100% uh, free to do whatever we want. Before the revolution, Bassem was set to move to Cleveland for a position in pediatric surgery. But now, he's decided to stay put in Egypt, channeling John Stewart's style and healing not just wounded bodies, but the country's spirit. It's going to be a surprise. Hello, Shabash. Hello, Hamim.